Floating Heat Wave. My name is Brian Belcher, and I'm joined by Chris. It's the Hutch Hutcherson. Hi there, Jerris Mitchell. Uh, bonjour, no. And Brittany Saturn. Hey, everybody. This is a kitchen sink of a podcast. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word kitchen sink there for this a second. Is a, this is a garbage uh, can of a podcast. podcast. <laughs> this is a thing that you listen to with your ears. And uh, uh, it's, it's kind of about video games, too. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into our first subject. Jairus. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. YouTube asks you to do a lot of things for you to be able to see our content, and that means we're going to ask you to do a lot of things to see our content. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and it helps out a whole lot if you hit that bell. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Nice catch. Brian, who drops his phone? <laughs> <laughs> what do you drink in the bathtub? So I, uh, I'm probably, I don't know. I feel like I'm the one that takes the most baths in this uh, group. Probably, yeah. Yeah, let's chart our bath frequency. Uh, <laughs> I, I take uh, a bath just about every day. He does oh, take a lot okay. of baths. And uh, is that a relaxation bath or a cleaning bath? Both. Mostly, okay. mostly relaxation. Mm-hmm. Um, but I get clean while I'm in there, and then yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what do you drink when you're in the bathtub? Uh, Pepsi. Pepsi? <laughs> Pepsi. Do yeah. you put ice, like, you're not normally a person who puts ice in your cup. No, you put no. ice in when so you I can, I, I get a fresh, cold can of Pepsi, mm-hmm. right, like, I'm about to get in the water, I'm naked, I'm walking through the house, yeah. and I grab a Pepsi and then I go get in the water. Mm. Like, it's, the, the, the contrast of hot water to cold Pepsi makes it even better. Mm. So my favorite thing too is that he'll drink half of it mm-hmm. and then leave the can in the bathroom <laughs> every time, every <laughs> single then time. I'll be like, I'm not gonna pick that up. He he needs to pick up his can, but then the next day there's another can beside <laughs> the first can, and I'm eventually like, okay, I guess I'll fucking take these cans to the kitchen. <laughs> I, so he's like a bath slug, <laughs> yeah. where he just you know him. Like where there was one empty Pepsi can, that was where yeah, he carried it's you. It's the broken window <laughs> theory. <laughs> <laughs> if you leave one Pepsi can, more will come. Have you guys? It's filled if up you a- give a mouse a cookie. <laughs> Have you guys filled up a kitchen sink with Pepsi cans yet? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and- for sure. Some things never change. Yeah, well, I, have, I, have a, I have a recycling <laughs> yeah, bin. Yeah, we have but- a recycling bin specifically for all of his cans, but he still is like. <laughs> I'm going to leave them in the sink. This episode yeah. is not brought to you by Pepsi. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pepsi, you owe us $5 now. <laughs> I'm going to send out invoices to these companies. <laughs> making notes of who we're mentioning. So be careful that they will pay it. And then we'll go to jail. Yeah. Remember that mm-hmm. guy? Because there was like, a guy who kept sending, who was it, Google? Yeah, Google He kept sending invoices. Google invoices, and they were like really small amounts, and Google didn't know what they were for, but they just kept paying them. Yeah. And he ended up getting like, I can't remember. $64,000. It was, yeah, it was a ridiculous amount of money, and then he went to jail because Google was like, hey, give him my money back. <laughs> hey, we just realized that we paid you $64,000. I don't see how that should be. I don't that's think he should fault. go to jail because yeah. like that's Google's fault for not yeah. knowing like who they're paying. Right, but that would be that would be fun. Is if he put like what the what the like in the memo line mm. for using my personal information. <laughs> I am charging you two hundred dollars. Yeah, and then just sent one every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or it could be like what we're doing right here. Is like I talked about you in my podcast. Yeah, yeah. you know, advertising fee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like, like some sort of. Implied consent with payment. Uh huh. Uh huh. You are by paying this, you agree that this is a reasonable thing to pay me for. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Hutch, how frequently do you take that? <laughs> Not a lot. You, you have such you, a nice tub. Though. Yeah, I was just about yeah. to say, I was a person who has the nicest tub here. You don't take baths. Yeah, for and it's f- until like the past week, it's been filled with boxes and like <laughs> cap- like airbags from packaging. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just like a little nest. <laughs> I, I I have weird bath habits. That's that's how he gets comfortable. Is he curls up in that? I like to feel like I'm on a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> cloud of packaging. Yes. Um, but uh, anyway, so I would go the soda route as well. 
good, nice ice cold Mountain Dew. Um, but if I wanted to go fancy, I would go for a George Ocean on ice <laughs> with some Irish cream. With some milk. <laughs> With some milk in that. Ding to a previous uh, <laughs> food club or booze club. Well, this yeah. is also going out as a podcast, so why, uh, look no. in the look in the notes or comments or on the video. <laughs> yeah, there's something in there. Mm-hmm. Trying not to complicate everything. Yeah, <laughs> by just saying ding, ding, ding. ding. <laughs> I'm so used to YouTube. I can't imagine drinking a Mountain Dew in the bathtub. I just want to <laughs> play Counter Strike. <laughs> but then you're in the bathtub and you can't play counter. Well, no, that's bathtub. not true. They have those like wooden plank boards now oh, that you go yeah, across yeah, there, yeah. and you just play Counter Strike. Uh, uh, put your laptop yeah. on there. I want to mount a what? TV in my bathroom while I'm riveting my house and just start haloing in the bathtub. Sounds like a great idea. Thank you, Jerris. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have been talking about making a waterproof controller. Pooping and yeah. haloing. <laughs> that would be a weird, weird stream. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and it would be short lived. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're caught. arrested. <laughs> Most disturbing stream. Okay, Brittany, what, what drink would you drink in a bathtub? So I take baths not as frequently as Brian, but I do, I would say maybe like two to three a week. Okay. Um, and I do it at night as a, for a sort of relaxation because mm-hmm. I like to take showers in the morning before work. Yeah. Um, but I have drank wine in the bathtub before. Yeah. Mm. Um, as long as it's in a glass so that I can break it in the tub and cut myself. No bags for you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of wine do you usually drink? Uh, probably like a Moscato. Okay. I think that's what I normally a drink. Nice fresh. A nice fresh Moscato. <laughs> Gotta get but that sweet if I had drink. to drink like another drink, it would definitely be alcohol because um, you know, whatever. I like to party. Trying to relax. Trying yeah. to relax. Um, mm-hmm. it would be something like really mm-hmm. silly and really fruity, like a sex on the beach or something like mm-hmm. that. Like a pina colada. Any sort of tropical Yeah. Trick my brain into thinking I'm in vacation, like in Hawaii right. with the warm water, but I'm just in my crappy bathtub. <laughs> I would probably take more baths if our bathtub was better. Yeah, our, our bathtub, bathtub here is, is really not bad. Great. It's like even worse than like the bathtub that we used at your house when we lived It's with like you. you can't lay down. Your neck is like at yeah. ninety like, degree angle. You have to be a contortionist. <laughs> I didn't realize how shallow that thing was until today when I looked at it. I was like, because ne- I'm never in that bathroom. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's pretty shallow. I'm never in that bathroom. I'm never in it. <laughs> It's so. It's a foreign part of my house. I. <laughs> I like that you're painting this image that you live in a mansion. Yeah. <laughs> and not, and you don't walk by that bathroom to get anywhere in your house. The 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 uh, the doorway is basically the DMZ. Of- you know, <laughs> I've only I've only ever seen you in that bathroom one time. That's when uh, uh, Jungle Boy was shaving my face for me. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> so I was in there today. Oh, good okay, mm. but yeah, bathrooms are fun. For, for me, I um, probably bathe less frequently or bath less frequently than the two of you, but more frequently than Hutch. Okay, um, yeah, and usually it's a night relaxation thing. So either a reasonably priced beer or um, like a little whiskey. Okay. Nice. Is there? Uh, I'm I'm kind of curious. Like, where did you go? Like, why did you come to this question, though? Like, what was your inspiration to be like? I want to know what all my friends drink when they're in the tub. Well, I think it's a good question because okay. it's like there's a lot wrapped up in there. It's a there's... lot better than what's your favorite color, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, one there's you know how frequently do you take a bath? Yeah, not not bathe. I'm not implying that you're dirty humans, but like showers or functional things baths are more typically a thing that you do to relax or settle or something yeah. like that mm. um and then trying to figure out what your sort of relaxation patterns are like do you read a book like you just are sitting in a bathtub drinking half a can of pepsi i, I actually watch youtube videos while i'm in there too because yeah. my phone's like waterproof now so i just sit it up there i watch mm. youtube videos and like like Nine times out of ten, I'm hot all over, hmm. but my feet are freezing. So I go in there and I, uh, I like I, I like to warm up my feet before I go to bed. Okay, mm. 
Yeah, I'll take a bath too because Brian wants it fucking cold as hell in the house. And yeah. I'll just be shivering at my desk like, holy <laughs> fuck, I'm cold. And there's a sort of coldness that like, even if you get under covers, it's like down on the bone and you just can't get warm. It yeah. takes a while to so, defrost. Yeah, I'll get in the bathtub So you got to use soggy cool. hot water to yeah, kind of definitely swamp you up. But um, another thing I want to mention is like I remember as a kid like drinking um, like really cold juice in the bathtub and then the mixture of the cold juice and the hot tub would make me sick. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Especially if it was like something heavy like grape juice. Mm. And I remember (laughs) throwing up all the time. I would like chug grape juice and then throw up. (laughs) So this is like the opposite of like. I I, pref- I really enjoy so that experience. I, I prefer, like, my drink can be chilled, but it doesn't, it can't be, like, super duper cold because okay. of the heat of the water. I don't mm-hmm. know, it makes me not feel good at all. I love it. It makes my stomach, like, churn. Okay. It's kind of like the eating before swimming sort of thing. Yes, you're yeah. not, you have to wait 45 <laughs> minutes before you can take a bath. Take a bath, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't take a bath. I just drink some juice. <laughs> Imagine, imagine you're like, it was one of the heavier juices. <laughs> imagine you're like you just sink five right to the years bottom. old and your mom's like, okay, time for a bath. And you're like, sorry, mom, I have to wait 45 minutes. <laughs> that's a good cop out, though. I like that. Yeah, that's for you kids at home. That's a good excuse for you. <laughs> Do uh, you guys got any uh, like bath rituals, like bath bombing, or oh, maybe so some Avon you, bubble bath? So Brittany and I, uh, Brittany is introduced me to bath bombs about yeah. a year ago now, and that is absolutely one of my favorite things to do. We have a lot of like sugar scrubs and uh, various other bath things that are like for just keeping you calm. And while I know this does absolutely nothing, I really enjoy scented Epsom salt. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like that too. It's, uh, mm. It just feels like it feels like um, the water is lighter. Yeah, and it just. You know, if I have something that smells good, I don't smell good most of the time. <laughs> so, so it's like one of those few times it's just like, oh, wow, this is really, really smells good. Aromatherapy kind of thing. Oh, yeah, I'll mm. buy all those things. I'll get like the Epsom salts, bubble baths, mm-hmm. um, sugar scrubs, bath And I bombs. use them all. Yeah, sometimes Brian gives me shit for it. And then I'll go in the bathroom and that thing will be empty or almost <laughs> gone. And I'm like, okay, I guess you did enjoy it then. Yeah. I When I used to do more physical labor for my work and my job, um, I became a large, like a big fan of Epsom salts. Mm-hmm. And the, like the next path, like Epsom salts are a gateway to bath bombs. And yeah. And... Like that, that very clean line is the scented Epsom salt. Yeah. Um, when me and lady friend were in Japan, we actually went to this hobby store called Tokyo Hands. Um, Tokyo Hands. And it's like five stories and it's shit for every hobby in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, but Japan is interesting in that everything could be regarded <clears throat> as a hobby. Okay. So imagine walking into a section that's full of bath salts. Yeah. But, like, hobbyist bath salts? This is reminding <laughs> me of, like, a weird Florida conversation, but go on. A weird Florida conversation? Yeah, because of the people that got high off bath salts? Yes. Yeah, it wasn't, well... It's like, that's a weird way to have a hobby. Those were... <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to eat people's faces. Salts, they were just called bath salts, and yeah. it was a drug. I know, I know. Um, I'm just sorry. I'm trying to make a yeah. bad joke. So we got we got a lot of really interesting bath salts okay uh and we're almost out of them now that's good so if you're in japan and send me bath salts i will appreciate it we don't have a p.o box yet but if we do by the time this episode goes out i'll put it out right here on the screen and in the <laughs> notes and whatnot <laughs> p.o box send us things <laughs> p.o yep. box 69 420 god if they have that number i'm taking it <laughs> <laughs> they let you pick the numbers yep yeah. I don't, they're not gonna have that. I know. You gotta slip them an extra fiver. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay them a little extra. <laughs> like if there was a 69 or a 666 or all of the above, I'll take them. 420, bro. Yeah. Or 1337. Ooh. Ooh. So every day, every day oh when God. we go to work, every <laughs> single day, um, if we end up getting breakfast, we get breakfast at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. And the, the receipt has our order number on it. And we're usually about 10 or 15 away from Leet. 
mm. on there. So have you started shifting the time you leave? Uh, no, no. I just uh, I haven't I haven't attempted, but I've gotten leet twice now, mm. and uh, I have both receipts nailed to my wall at work. <laughs> <laughs> I just put a little thumbtack really... into it. And I'm just like that was my leet it's day. So Basically, the geek I was lottery. Hoping it was like a full like wood nail, and you were just like, Tush. oh god, that'd be great. No, just but yeah, so. I keep that for some reason. I don't know why. Wow. You're really sad, Brian, but... You... you <laughs> sit- <laughs> Look at his face. He was so offended. <laughs> I am offended. He was, like, quickly trying to think of uh, something to, like... <laughs> excuse me. I will not take that from you. But if I, if I didn't drink Pepsi, it'd probably be, like, a tequila sunrise, which is my favorite alcoholic drink. But then that's cold orange juice in the bathtub. Well, I don't have the Britney he problem where I problem vomit I have, over no. juice. I just throw up over everything. Just throw it up in a <laughs> just bathtub. Just constantly disgusting. If, if I was throwing up, it's pretty because of too much tequila. <laughs> throwing up in a bathtub is, like, a, an image. I don't think I've ever done that before. I had, in high school, I had a friend who got so drunk, we had to put him in the bathtub and... He just kind of vomited on himself. And oh, yeah. We turned on, like, the... The, the shower head? Shower head was one of the, the wand ones. Mm. So we just, like, took that and hosed him off. Oh, convenient. <laughs> well, with that... <sighs> Bye! That, that's the end of our segment. <laughs> Bye, everybody! See ya! Bye!